Hello, my name is Anna Kahn, and today I will be teaching you the first five notes out of the Essential Element books for soprano clarinet. Before we get to playing, I want to remind you how to form a basic good embouchure. Um, make sure you're keeping your chin parallel to the ground, so it's not up, it's not down, it's flat. That will help a lot with your opening up your sound. Next, keep your chin flat, bottom up roll over your teeth, and top teeth rest on top of the mouthpiece. Make sure you're using pressure from your mouth, using it kind of like a drawstring bag to put pressure on the reed instead of your jaw. Okay, now to playing. First note that we're going to learn today is a G. Right there on the staff, second line from the bottom. Now to finger a G, it's pretty easy. You don't press any buttons, just open hands. Here's a G. Okay, on to the next note. The next note we'll be learning is an F. Right there on the staff, bottom space. Now to finger this note, it's not difficult at all. It's like a G, except you push down one button. The tone hole key, back here. And also, for a note, for all of these fingerings, make sure that you're covering up the tone holes completely, otherwise the note won't come out. So just make sure that you're covering them up all the way. So, reminder for F, just the tone hole key, back here. Here's an F. Okay, on to the next note. The next note we will be learning is an E. It's on the very bottom line of the staff. Now, to finger an E, it's not that difficult at all. None of these are exceedingly difficult. You press the back tone hole key down, covering the tone hole, and you put your index finger down on the top tone hole. And that is it. That is how you finger an E. And here it is. Okay, good job. On to the next note. The next note we will be learning is a D. It's right below the bottom line of the staff. We're not going to go too low today. Only two more notes to go, but here's the D. You finger a D by putting down the back tone hole key, covering the tone holes, the first tone hole key, and the second. So one, or thumb, one and two. So here's a D. Okay, the next and final note that we will be learning today is a C. And it's on a ledger line below the staff, but that's all that's as low as we're going today, so it's fine. And to finger it, it's not that hard. In fact, it follows the pattern we've been doing all along. Tone hole key on the back, first, second, and third. This one doesn't have a key, but make sure you're covering that tone hole all the way. So here's a C. <laughs> Now, if you're having any issues going hitting any of these notes, the way I practiced it was um, starting at the G, playing all the way to, all the notes down to a C, and then playing back up like so. And that helped me get a better consistent sound. So I hope that helped. Thanks.